Right, so if you have read and understood, consider yes, history taking station. Can you please begin? Hello, I'm Dr. Mithila, one of the surgical doctors. May I confirm your name and age, please? Uh, yes, I am um, uh, Peter. And, oh, sorry, I'm uh, 67 years old. Nice to meet you, Peter. How can I help you today? So, uh, doctor, I experienced this... Mm -hmm. um, uh, two episodes of fall and uh, after shaking mm -hmm. and that's why I came here today. I'm so sorry to hear that. It might be a very distressful condition for you. Could you please tell me what happened exactly? Um, uh, doctor, Where and I actually... when you first noticed this? Uh, doctor, I actually uh, don't remember it but uh, suddenly I fall and uh, okay. I had uh, I had this uh, I had this vigorous shaking, and I also okay. passed urine, and uh, okay. then I, I really don't know what happened after that. Okay, I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, do you remember what were you doing at this at that time? Uh, no, doctor, I don't remember it. Uh, did anyone witness this episode? Um, there was, uh, there was, uh, no, nobody. Nobody. I'm so sorry to hear that you were all alone at that time. Uh, did yeah. you notice anything just before this episode, like just tightness or any kind of anxious feeling or fearful feeling? Uh, I, I was feeling a little bit uh, more drowsy maybe and... I feel I felt some I, I felt uh, yes I felt chest pain and I got anxious as well okay I'm so sorry uh, so uh, as no one was there with you uh, so um, could you please remember that that uh, during that specific period did you bite your tongue uh, no doctor I, I or didn't hit do that, your, but... or hit your body. Um, or maybe head. I since uh since I have fallen, so I might have uh hit my head. Yes. Okay. And I was uh vigorously shaking. I can shaking remember that. The, your whole body or only a part of it? Uh, my whole body. Uh, so did you notice any head or eye deviation? Or repeated mm -hmm. eye blinking. Uh, sorry, doctor, I don't. So you didn't recall. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's okay. I, I, it's okay. I, I, I can really understand that. So, how do you feel immediately just after when you regain your consciousness? Are you drowsy or any muscle pain or yes, any doctor, unable I was to quite speak? Drowsy and yes, doctor, I was quite drowsy and uh, I okay. couldn't speak properly. And uh, most importantly, I couldn't regain what actually happened. Okay. Or I'm why, so how did it happen? That. I cannot remember. Has uh, something like this ever happened before? Yes. Uh, long ago, something like this happened. And okay. uh, uh, maybe something like this uh, exactly happened. Okay. Um, so did it happen in the morning or nighttime? Uh, yes, it happened in the morning. 
Okay. Have you noticed um, during this fits any special kind of event like sleep disturbance or any alcohol consumption or anything like this? Do you have any feel any correlation with this event? Uh, no, doctor. I don't think. Okay. So how frequently you are exper experiencing this episode? Uh, frequently, maybe uh, I had this for the second time. So okay. uh, it was uh, maybe two Very months long, back. Very long, long duration. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. So have you had any weakness in your arm and leg? No, doctor. Can Not you feel much. your limbs normally? Yes, doctor. Do you have any problem in your vision? Uh, no. Did you throw up? Uh, no, doctor, I didn't throw up. How have your appetite been? It's normal. It's it's normal nowadays. Okay. Not, have you noticed not, any unintentional weight loss? No, doctor, nothing. Okay. Uh, have any of your family member has this kind of episodes or disease anytime? Uh, so doctor, my father, I think he had this similar problem, but okay. um, maybe. Okay, I'm so sorry to hear that. So, do you see your GP regularly for any other kind of illness? Uh, yes, like doctor. High blood I have, pressure. Yes, doctor. I have diabetes and I have also hypertension, blood okay. pressure also. Do you take any medication? Uh, yes, doctor, I take, but I don't remember uh, the names. Okay. It's okay. It's completely normal. Do you have any drug or food allergy? No. Do you have any kind of surgery before? Okay. Can no, you doctor. please summarize your history taking now? Okay. Uh, Mr. Peter, 67 years old, uh, came to the emergency department with two episodes of falling down with vigorous yes. uh, um, seizure that made make her pass urine in the clothes at the time of event yes. after regaining the consciousness uh, he didn't uh, she didn't remember anything about that event event and yes. uh, she had uh, no history of uh, any kind of unintentional weight loss or um, any vomiting or headache. Uh, she is a known case of control type 2 diabetes and hypertension. So what is and your provisional and differential diagnosis for her? My provisional diagnosis is epilepsy and differentials may be primary bone tumor or metastatic tumor. It may be a case of transemic ischemic attack, uh, uh, hypoglycemia or electrolyte imbalance or any kind of cardiac abnormality. Okay. How how would you investigate this patient? At first, I will do some basic blood investigation like blood glucose, yes. electrolyte, creatinine, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, serum calcium, magnesium, uh, yes. lactate, uh -huh. uh, blood ABG, and yes. urinary, and CT head of brain. Uh, if uh, WBC shows infection, then I have to do the full septic uh, investigation like culture and lumbar puncture. Yes. Uh, EEG, MRI with contrast of brain. Okay. Uh, how do you think this patient should be managed? Uh, it uh, will depend upon the um, diagnosis. If it is a case of brain tumor, then I have to discuss it with the multidisciplinary team, yes. team with my neurosurgeon colleagues. And uh, I have to, as patient is having seizure, so I have to start uh, the anticonvulsant therapy. Yes. Uh, uh, like phenytoin, benzodiazepine. Yes, uh, after discussing it or, with your consultant. With, yes. the, with the consultant. Yes. How would you rule out and if patient is not suffering from any type of epilepsy? Any kind of? Epilepsy. Epilepsy. I will do EEG. And, and? 
um what is the right to... way of determining uh, determining uh, the onset of epilepsy uh, it will depend upon the history and Very good. if uh, and... if it persists more than 30 minute of active seizure yes. um, this may be a case of status epilepticus it okay. is an emergency case this uh, in that time i have to manage the patient according to chris protocol, CRIS protocol. I, I have to give the oxygen monitoring yes. and iv iv fluid and sometime uh, intubation may be needed okay good uh, can you also tell me okay very good you have uh, answered it very nicely uh, one thing i just want you to keep in your mind when you were taking the history of uh, allergy, you uh, used the word drug. Can you maybe remember to change this if you are allergic medication. to any medication? Yes. Okay, and okay, uh, one thing that you missed in the history since patient told you patient was alone and does not remember, uh, duration, the seizure went on or was for how long? Yeah, that's why I didn't ask. Yeah, she this, didn't. yeah you did not ask this one. Yes. So this was very important. Because okay. duration as as she didn't uh, remember, so I have to ask. Yes, for... and Peter is the name of a boy. Maybe you can say Petra. But in the scenario, yeah. Peter, yeah. Was his that's, car, no, that's why that's, I, that's I got all confused. Right. Yeah, because when you okay. were summarizing, then it was like yeah. he and she was getting mixed yeah. up. So if I you was have also Petra confused. instead okay. of Peter, then it will be like okay. easier. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.